Hi everyone, sorry about the last video, it was extremely laggy, but today I've corrected that issue. Actually, I didn't do anything actually, I did the exact same thing, and all of a sudden it's working now, and I don't, I don't understand why. But um, here we are, I'm going to show you how to uh, create an account in Pandora's wallet and take a look at all the, the different uh, cryptocurrencies and transfer some cryptocurrencies from, um, from my other wallet to that uh, new Pandora's wallet. So. Let's go ahead and do that. So first off, let's head over to uh, my uh, screen here, and I'm going to open up Pandora's wallet here. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna select English, and then I'm going to log in. Actually, I'm gonna have to create an account. Uh, I'm gonna just register here. Close, and then I'm going to enter my name. username and then my email then I'm going to enter my password Accept the conditions. Go through this capture. Palm trees, palm trees. I don't see any palm trees there. Let's continue verify. And then we should see oh, okay receive an email here that's not that's not good enough i think we we should have like a, a larger um window it says you know confirm it your your uh confirm it, confirm email a confirmation a confirmation email has been sent to your email <laughs> account <laughs> that's gonna have to be changed to the confirmation email um has been sent to your address <laughs> or something like that anyways um Let's head over to get that email. I'm gonna just go onto my phone because I just got it here. Verify. Now I'm just gonna log in. The username was, and email was, support, and the password was, Now you can create multiple accounts and each account uh, are, is separate and distinct based on the username, right? So you could use the same email over again and just use a different uh, username. And so you could have multiple accounts. Um, you will get the 30 days free trial with the software. Um, if you need to have that extended, just give, give us a shout for the, another 30 days, that's fine. Well, we can gladly give you an additional 30 days to try out the software at no additional cost but <clears throat> yeah so i'm going to download the software right now right um look at that that's interesting um on, on the last video it actually told me that this was a dangerous software right and now today it's it's uh it realizes that it is signed and a legitimate software but if it does show up as a dangerous software, just say, oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's fine. Uh, let's head over to, to running it. And I, I think it was probably because this is a Windows 2016 computer and not a Windows 10 computer is probably why that's the case. I think, I believe that the Windows 10 has a new set of rules for what's legitimate and what's not. Um, and so I have to look into that and uh, fix our software to support the new uh, legit rules that Microsoft has come up with but moving right along you select any of these really it doesn't really matter um, and, and then go through the install and hit finish um, yeah so there we go it's installed now next what we do is uh, oh darn I Windows oh Windows 2016 does not have 
the .NET framework installed. Oh my God, and it's 2012. Oh, that's why, that's why. Oh, darn. So I'm gonna continue this video on uh, Windows 2010 and it turns out now um, I, I trusted the download actually. If we log in and for some reason now, Pandora'sWallet.com, and if I log in uh, here, yeah, let's go here. I'm gonna get rid of that. I liked it at first, but now I'm not so sure. Log in. Come on, you can do. And if I go to use my, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I'm gonna use a different account name than I did in my last video. In the last uh, edit there. Um, let's see here. Uh, if I remember my password. Crap. Cars. 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 It looks like there's cars in there, but it's not 100% clear. Alrighty. Are we going to get in? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, we are. All right, there we go. So I'm going to um, download this software. And just to show you that, uh, hey, look, look, from the last video, it told us uh, this was like uh, dangerous software. Be careful, don't download this kind of stuff. But now, finally, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, it's working. Let's see if we run the software. What did Microsoft say? Oh my God, it allows us to run this. Wow, I don't know why it took so long for the signature to, to show up, but I guess because we just got the this, this signature uh, the other day uh, for like uh, on Friday. So I guess it takes a while for the signature to propagate through uh, Microsoft's uh, ecosystem. Anyways, <coughs> yeah, so now let's uh, log in. So now that you can see that we can um, you we have it digitally signed so you don't see that hey you know what this is dangerous malware or whatever crap so happy about that um and uh yeah so we can log in right and you can see that um i've already set up some currencies on that on this but uh, let's let's do the other account that I set uh, that I created last time, so that we can show you guys how it looks when you first initially set up an account. So it's uh, let's see here if I remember the password. It's this, I believe. I keep changing my password every single time. So when it starts up, right, first it initializes the wallet, and it, it's going to take a bit of time right here um, to initialize the wallet. And once it's done, right, you can, um, you'll be able to see that um, a list of all different types of currencies, right? We have currently four, 51 currencies, but some of them are on maintenance. Um, we did promise to get, uh, for example, Cloak Coin uh, off of maintenance uh, for yesterday, but uh, during the testing phase, we found some uh, found an issue, so we were not able to take it off of maintenance on the live network just yet. But it will be able to. You still be able to receive coins if you were to select this and add this, but you just won't be able to send them until we have resolved that issue uh, uh, on the server side. So uh, you basically you got to select here, you select your uh, primary coin. If you want in the future, we're going to support a Binance coin. And so Binance coin um, could be your, your, your primary coin. And you could always change that later on uh, through the settings. Um, I'm just going to put in the password here. Uh, let's see here. This is uh, which account? Okay. Yeah, that was this. So I'm going to use, um, darn. All right, 
right, so which account was that? Can you can see it at the bottom there. There we go. Da Vinci J account. Okay, so so I knew. All right, so <clears throat> as you can see, right, I have the just a bit bitcoins on this account, right, and I can add more coins right here. I'm going to add some coins. Uh, I'm going to add. Uh, going to enter my password again. It's going to take a bit, right? It's a little slow, but we'll be fixing that in an upcoming version, uh, an upcoming release. Uh, I know I fixed that before and it got broken again. I'm really sorry about that, but but we've um, hired a bunch of new programmers and they, they and uh, we'll we'll be correcting some of the issues that we've been having over time, and so. Uh, so just be patient with us. We will, we'll, we'll get to it. There we go. So now, uh, I'm going to select. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to select uh, test net and Bitcoin and yeah, yeah. I'm going to test uh, very, very coin. Well, let's see. I know that we just test very coin, very coin. I promised very coin was going to be up and running, and it is up and running uh, as of yesterday. So you're good to go. Use very coin. Now, so we have a couple of test nets, right, as well. And then there you go. It's uh, adding your coins. It, takes, it, it will freeze a little bit here when it's um, adding the coins because it's got to create the accounts and so forth. Uh, again, that shouldn't happen, and we will be correcting that uh, in, in a future update, uh, probably in the next couple months, the next month, uh, next 30 days or 30 to 45 days, basically, because we still have to uh, get the... The, the the new guys up and running and up to speed so it's going to be some time before we actually make some changes uh unless it's a, a critical critical fix that we need to to do so i'm going to uh, connect and use the other account because you know again you could have more than one account on uh, pandora's wallet and you can see you're seeing that here live with this video so i uh, just need to remember uh, my password for each one and that's always an issue remembering passwords so you know what I should write that down somewhere because I know that next time I do this <laughs> I'm going to forget <laughs> uh, I have dash lane actually for all my passwords so so but I just did not put this one in the bad dash lane yeah, there we go it's and the other one yeah okay I'm writing it down on my notes here there we go so I got some, I have some coins in this one here, right, as you can see. And I should have uh, copied the address of the other account, but that's okay. You know what, we'll just log back in and then take all these coins off of here and put them in the other account just for fun. But uh, always remember to restore your backup, to do a backup and restore. So uh, I did do a, ba a backup in the last video uh, of the 12 words, right? And basically, you go here. You do this with every single wallet, not just oh, wrong password. Not just uh, this wallet, right? So you copy this, right? You put it into a notepad, right? Um, I believe I put one here, but let's see here. No, okay. So let's just create one here, paste. I swore I did in the last video. No, it's not here. Okay, fine. All right, and I'm going to go file, save as. Now you should print this out. Oh, look at that. It, I did save it here. There we go. Let's just make sure it's all good. All right, yeah, it's the same. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Don't save. So, now. I'm going to show you guys how to delete your wallet. Now I have money in this, right? So it seems a little bit scary to delete your wallet, but I'm going to go and delete my wallets. Both of them, actually I'm going to delete both of them. And uh, you know what, I should not delete both of them because uh, I didn't actually do a backup of the other one, but uh, yeah, alrighty. Uh, let's see here. So to delete the wallet, it's going to be a difficult because I, percent app percent 
is where you go to to the low you go back one directory and you go to locals you go to pandora's wallet now because i have two accounts here um and one of them is the uh other one i'm gonna just quickly just in case um, so that so that i uh so I just, I'm just showing you how to back it up. So I'm going to just put this over here in a, in a directory, right? Um, and you can see the restore process, right? Um, as it uh, tries to, okay, so there's a small bug. We'll, we'll, we'll correct that in the, in the update patch where Pandora's wallet does not close sometimes. Um, try again. So just right click and hit the end task. Right. Um, we will be updating that very soon, probably in the next couple of days, um, so that uh, because that would be annoying for to for, during the uninstall process. Um, <clears throat> see here. So now that uh, I've deleted uh, the files, uh, I'm going to go ahead and restore this wallet here, and the password is. There we go, remembered it. So again, it asked me to restore. So I'm gonna go restore for my 12 words, right? And of course you need to do, a, you should do a, a restore of your backup. If you're doing exchanges, you should do the, uh, the story, restore your, uh, your file backup because we don't have access to all your exchanges. We keep that, we wanna keep that separate from, from our system for now. We might change that in the future because uh, I feel that maybe we should have a copy of all your, your trades. So this way you can, if you need to restore just from your 12 words, you can and have all your trades come back to you. So um, that might be a possible, that's a, that's a probably a future thing. I just, I find it, uh, uh, it might be a privacy issue or something like that, but we'll talk about that in, in the coming months with, uh, with the rest of the development team. and. And obviously, with our clients, is this to decide what, what's a, what's the best course of action? Maybe if we encrypt your your information on our server side or something like that. Um, okay, moving right along, I'm just going to quickly uh, restore my twelve words here. So it is. Uh, Got to turn off the uh, all the uh, noises here. Uh, whilst I'm doing this. So weekend and uh, you can't restore this. If you see this on your on uh, on the videos, right, and you're thinking, "Well, hey, I can restore his wallet and take all his money," no, you can't <laughs> uh, because uh, it's a separate uh, application, separate uh, uh, system. So you have to. Uh, you have to like go into the code in order to break it out and, and steal the the and steal private each private key manually one by one. Um, it would be a lot of work to do that, right? Um, I would not suggest it, but you know some people who are hungry if they want some money and they'll 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 do it. So don't share this these twelve words with anyone, even though um, they won't be able to to restore with just our basic software without um, the, uh, the actual count. So yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, uh, so going forward, um, just so you know, if you log into the software and you do not have, I mean, your, your, your system has expired, you will have access to log in, see your accounts, but you won't be able to send and send uh, uh, cryptocurrency. You will be able to receive, you just won't be able to send anything. And so you would have to just take your, your private keys, which I'll show you how to get. And um, basically take the private keys and put it in the app, another application to, um, to get the money out. Or you could always just, you know, pay for another year subscription um, to, uh, to store your wallet uh, so make sure if you decide to not to co continue with uh, Pandora's wallet that you uh, you take you uh, you take all your money out of the account before your your subscription expires the subscription costs if you want to know that um, I know this is probably taking a while um, it, there's this this is a part of the slowness that we're having um, 
part of the subscription costs, the subscription cost is a zero point zero six bitcoins, and I'm pricing it in bitcoins because I believe in cryptocurrencies, and and it's time that we you know we um, price things in 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 the cryptocurrency that we that we that uh, helps free humanity basically. And the only way to do that is to actually have businesses that accept Bitcoin directly and nothing else, uh, accept cryptocurrencies as uh, for your work, and it will be succeed, and we will free humanity to grow uh, instead of um, having so much poverty and uh, and and uh, and so much um, the difference, such huge financial gap between the poor and the and the rich because of. Because of our, our financial system, which 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 transfers wealth wealth from the poor and the middle class to the rich, through inflation, uh, now with bitcoins, it will transfer wealth from the rich and the middle class to the poor, if you save. <laughs> so if you save your bitcoins, if you save your 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 cryptocurrencies that have zero inflation, um, you effectively are transferring wealth the other way around. <laughs> so that's uh, always a plus for you as a, uh, a holder of cryptocurrency. So keep that in mind. That's why you want to, to own this stuff. And I'm going to enter the password uh, that I had last it's time. Wow. I am hungry and need to go to have lunch sometime after this. So, okay. So now it's restored. As you can see, you're, you're saying, well, wait a second, where's my money? You had money in that account. Hang on, just give it a sec. Give it a sec. Right, it will um, bring bring down the money for this account. Any second now. I'm gonna add, oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, so it just takes a second. So uh, I'm gonna add the also the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The, um, You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to um, restore the, the, the files and and, and uh, log back in. So there we go. You see that I've restored my wallet. Now, you should do that for every single wallet you ever have. Delete it and restore it. Get the restore files, the 12-word the backup phrase, and restore that wallet because you don't want to lose your money if your restore phrase is incorrect and you're like, darn, I thought I wrote it down correct. I would hate to have that see that happen to you. So please do uh, do a delete of all the files and make sure the restore actually works in every single wallet, um, because you know what you're responsible for your own money. Now, with that said, let me just restore these uh, files here because I'm just gonna copy them over. Log back in. Actually, I'm going to go logging into and then copy the addresses so that we can actually send those money to the to the other account. So you can see it in action. Lights camera action. I'm just going to take a copy of the uh, address. This. Now, don't get freaked out and there's no money in this because, you know, this is a different account. This is the Vinci J account, not the Da Vinci J15 account. So don't, don't, don't get all your panties in a bunch. <laughs> all right. So we're going to uh, copy this. Um, and we're going to transfer all that money from the other account just in case somebody actually take, goes through the trouble of actually stealing my money from the, like, that account. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let's see here. I'm going to withdraw all that money from the other account to this one. Copy, paste. Just gotta wait for the balances to show up. 
Uh, I think they're already there. There we go. I'm going to send everything. Okay, confirm. Enter the password. Oh, darn. Typed in the password wrong. And there we have it. Sent. I'm going to send the uh, light. The, yeah, it takes a few seconds for it to actually um, get the updated uh, transaction. So it's just going to go from the server. So it's just going to have to wait until it says, hey, you know what? I got that transaction, but this should show up. And about, oh, there we go. There you see, one to zero. All right, and now we're going to hit send on everything to that account here. And yep, there we go. <coughs> Oop, wrong password. And it's goodbye. Send. And then we can log back in to the other account. Right? And it will be. Remember this password. And then we should see the money here. Ah, there she blows. So it's been transferred. There it is. Coming in. The money coming in. Always a good thing. See money coming in. Yeah, so this is going to take a few seconds to update. But again, we're going to get around to fixing all that. Those little, little little uh, bug bugaboos and stuff like that but right now that uh, the software works and I am happy with that and there you go and uh, the next video we'll show you uh, how to use the exchange part of it right so that you could trade your cryptocurrencies with the bitrex and um, yeah and then probably in the next 45 days we're also going to be supporting Binance or dare I say Cryptopia, if they're back up and running. <laughs> but hey, you know what? You'll be able to use Pandora's wallet to ensure that they can't rob you again. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time. Cheers.